Hey guys, I'm Kate and in this video I wanted to do my review of The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is a story about this girl named Kelsey and she is raised in exile and when she turns 18 or 19 she is supposed to take over this kingdom that uh, her mother uh, left in terrible condition. She needs to do everything in her power to save this kingdom. This is the first book in, in the trilogy, I'm not sure how the trilogy is called. Uh, I uh, know that there was a lot of hype surrounding this book and I have to admit this hype affected me to read uh, this book and I know, I know that a lot of people loved uh, this book but I wasn't one of them, I really didn't like it. It had some good things about it but a lot of, uh, a lot of things were just bad for me. Uh, I gave it 2 out of uh, 5 stars. I will start with the things that I did like about this book. I liked how it was set in the future, but the future is like Middle Ages. They don't have modern technology and modern medicine. Uh, it is not really explained how the world got into this condition, uh, but I think the author left it for the second one or the third one. Uh, the other thing that I uh, really liked is that there was no, there was a little, little bit of romance in this book and I really liked that. I found it refreshing and I really appreciated it. Uh, now on to the things that I didn't like about this book. Uh, the first, the first thing being the main character, Kelsey, I found her really annoying and uh, shallow. I know she is 19, 19 years old and a lot of girls in that age are insecure. I'm older than that, I'm 26, but I'm still insecure about the way I look. Uh, but she needed to do this important job of saving uh, her kingdom and she is sitting there obsessed with her hair and what, her, what other people think of her. In this uh, scene, uh, this is not a spoiler, it is just a little thing that happens in the book that, that doesn't affect the story. There was this uh, meeting uh, with the generals and uh, when it finished the generals stood up and waited for Kelsey to dismiss them and she is sitting there and wondering why are they looking at me, is there something wrong with my face or the way I look. I mean, really girl? I was so annoyed with that uh, scene, the, uh, I needed to read it again if, to see if I understood it well. There was this, uh, there was this other part uh, that frustrated me very much and this is not a spoiler, there was this reception where Kelsey was supposed to meet all these important people in her kingdom and there was this woman that didn't like Kelsey and Kel Kelsey didn't like her and they had some altercation. And in the end, Kelsey thought that there was something worse than being being ugly, and that is to be ugly but think you are beautiful. I was like, what the fuck? I was so angry when I read it. Who does Kelsey think she is to decide if someone is beautiful, beautiful or not? And why is it so wrong that this wo woman is uh, self-confident in how she looks? And I needed to stop reading uh, reading this book at that point to calm myself down because I was afraid I will tear it, I will tear this book apart. Uh, also, there were some uh, things that were not very logical. I know that I said that I like the setting, the future, like the Middle Ages, but they, there were some plot holes like. People didn't forgot about the how the world was and forgot about technology and medicine, but suddenly they knew about antibiotics and knew about genetics, and they didn't have a simple technology as uh, presses, printing presses for the books. The books are really rare in this world, but suddenly they know about genetics and recessive genes and. They, it was really confusing. Uh, I thought that uh, Erica Johansson had a good idea, but uh, the way she ex executed it, I really didn't like it. Uh, another thing that I didn't like about this book is violence. Uh, 
uh, it's not that I don't like books with violence. I read them before and uh, some of my favorite books have a lot of violence in them, but violence in this book was described so badly and it felt so awkward and out of place. I was, I was like cringing when I read those parts. It was like it was there for the sake of being there. Not, it didn't have any significant meaning to it. I, I don't know, I didn't like that part. And what, what surprised me about this book is the pace. It is really slow paced. I don't mind uh, slow paced books but together with these annoying characters and all, all these plot holes it was just really hard to read. I kept falling asleep. Maybe if it was a little bit fa faster uh, maybe I wouldn't have noticed all these uh, things that I didn't like about this uh, book. Uh, some of the parts are too descriptive, there are too, there are too many details described and I Again, I don't mind that, but in this book it just didn't feel right. I thought about giving this book only one star, but when I thought about it, there were some things that I did like that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, so uh, in the end I gave it two stars, but I don't think I'm going to finish uh, this uh, trilogy. I'm even thinking about uh, getting rid of this book. I know there will be a movie adaptation based on this book with Emma Watson and I'm, I think I'm just going to uh, watch the movies if uh, the movie for the second and third book come out. I'm going to watch the movies and see what happens uh, in the end. I'm not going to... I think... I'm, uh, for now I think I'm not going to finish this trilogy. So this was my review for The Queen of the Tierling by Erika Johansson. Did you read this book? What did you think about it? Did you like Kelsey and will you finish the trilogy? Please let me know in the comments below. I really did expect to like this book, but unfortunately I didn't. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye!